hey if you've clicked on this video then i'm assuming you are a bit scared in terms of keeping pace with what is happening in the data science machine learning ecosystem there is a constant fear of missing out or as gen z calls it fomo of keeping up with what is happening in the data science ecosystem should you be scared should you be worried what should you do if you have to keep up with the advances and what are some of the best practices that industry practitioners follow in order to keep up with the advances that are happening in the data science and machine learning ecosystem so without wasting any further time let's kick start this particular discussion large language models stable diffusion computer vision based applications are exploding by the day there are numerous research papers that are being published every day can you read all of that can those people read all the papers that they are publishing no right so there is a balance that you will have to strike in terms of how much you can consume and what all you can consume if you are in a business surrounding if you are in a business based role where your primary job is to create machine learning or generative ai based solutions for business applications then narrow down on what you actually want to deliver to the business if you are working for a company which is designing chatbots then being aware of the latest large language models where communication is the key where research papers are being published in terms of how to do better fine tuning for conversations then that is the area that you have to focus on if there are other aspects of other business applications that you are working on stick to that don't try to be an expert in everything but be an expert in one thing and be a generalist and keep an eye on what's happening in the other ecosystems as well there is so much research happening how can you keep up with it you also have a life you also have different things to take care of as well so you cannot devote all your time into research and all the advances that are happening which is where it's often said to be smart and not be hard working if you smartly do hard work then chances of you being successful are much more so the objective is narrow down on what you are doing and then scale that up as well now you might have an obvious question hey i am not working directly in a generative ai based solution in my organization but i want to learn it and with the advances that are happening i am a bit scared that i don't want to be left behind if that is the question then i would urge you to start with basics first i see very talented young individuals being carried away by the entire gen ai wave gen ai under the hood is mathematics everything is mathematics when you speak about large language models when you speak about chat gpt when you speak about any model for that fact of matter 99% chances are that a large language model has been trained on a transformer network recently i ended up taking an interview of an individual and the core objective was to understand if he can fit into our company culture really well one of the things that he kept mentioning was jargons related to generative ai when i asked him about why positional encodings are required in case of a transformer networks he just created a sine wave and told me that the positions cannot be the same on the sine wave and i showed him how they can be same and why there is a need for a cos and sine wave when you understand the architecture from scratch is where you understood a large language model really well learn to appreciate the small nitty gritties of how the models have been constructed and then scale your understanding to what is happening in the industry you are never late to start from basics if you start from the end product and then do a dry run and if you reach back even that is good but reaching back and understanding the fundamental concept is extremely important if you plan to work in companies like nvidia google facebook that are doing cutting edge ai research then what they test you on are the basics they won't ask you the names of the models that they have open sourced they've already built that and open sourced or created a solution out of that 
what they expect you to do is if given a problem how do you optimize that model which is where your understanding will come into picture so don't run behind the whole rat race that i have to understand and create a solution quickly with the latest and greatest model understand the advantages of using it there was a solution where we did a cost estimate and this is back when gpt4 was a bit expensive as compared to gpt3.5 sometimes some solutions require simpler models you don't need a high end model every time understand what you are currently doing understand how much complexity is your job requiring and keep learning there is no harm in learning everything from basics once your basics are clear then it's very good to keep understanding what's happening in the industry and then being uh, say passionate about what is happening and then creating apps around it but if you're not clear with your basics my question to you would be why are you choosing x model over y if you can define that or if you can defend that that is the place where you've understood what you're doing so my whole hearted request to all of you out there who are watching this video in the attempt of keeping pace with the advances that are happening my idea and my suggestion would be start with extreme basics understand the basics start with the basic models sometimes even fine tuning a bird for your use case can give you amazing results you don't require the high end models like llama 3 or llama 2 for your use cases so it's not required that you run llama 2 on your local machine for your use case of sentiment analysis right you can easily train a large language model like a bird model or different variations of bird and create a solution that you require understand the data that you have understand the problem statement that you have understand the complexity of that particular problem statement and then design the solution don't chase for everything you would literally get nothing in turn but chase for one thing that you are looking to kind of expand the horizon and then once you keep chasing that is where your expertise would keep growing in that but to chase something where your expertise lie you have to fine tune yourself and understand the basics of that niche thing that you are kind of chasing for which is where start with basics then keep scaling and then keep learning whatever you want to this is how i would kind of break it down for you and how i would kind of tell you that this is how you should not think about fear of missing out and keep learning and keep enjoying what you're doing keep experimenting with things that you feel are relevant to you and that way you will be a better data scientist or a machine learning engineer keep an eye on what's happening but don't do a deep dive if it's not required and you will kind of go places if you follow the advice that i have given so this is all that i had in today's video i wanted to share out my views in terms of the growing data science and machine learning field and the research that's kind of kind of exploding every day so this is something that i wanted to share with all of you wholeheartedly i hope you enjoyed this video if you like such videos where we have a conversation in terms of how ai is evolving then make it a point to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos that i create on my channel thank you so much for watching the video